There's, there's something simmering. There is a little bit of tension between them. I think Mick Conlon, he knows this is everything. This is everything he's dreamed of since he was a, a small child. I'm really, really confident that my fighter is going to be taking the W and he's going to be taking the W really, really soon. Come fight night. The respect is at the window and I'm going to end there to win. I'm Gareth A. Davis. Welcome to the hometown of Michael Conlon in the historic heart of Belfast. Yep, it's the Battle of Belfast this weekend as Conlon attempts for the second time to win a world featherweight title. He's facing Luis Alberto Lopez, the IBF champion, a proud Mexican, a dangerous fighter. Both these men have extraordinary boxing skills. But in this town, born and bred, his blood breathes Belfast. Conlon says he will not and cannot be beaten. Two men who are incredibly confident about their fighting skills. It's press conference day here at the Europa Hotel. Let's find out what the protagonists have to say to each other. Conlon is very, very talented. As long as he fights within himself, he's technically a superb fighter and he has a good chance against any of the fighters in the featherweight division. One of the oldest men in the room, one of the men I've known the longest, long journey here. Conlon is one of the most talented boxers I think you've ever had, isn't he? What is it about him that's special? Ooh. What he can do from South, South Prawn Orthodox, like he is so accomplished in both styles with different elements in each one. And, they, and he's probably the first fighter I've had that's been so accomplished in both stances, coupled with uh, his incredible amateur experience. Game plans are always important. He's a very erudite fighter. Like you say, he's got fantastic IQ. What's key in this fight against Lopez? No comment. Always the same. Thank you very much, Adam Booth. What are you predicting on Saturday night for him, though? I'm going to think about how I can get you back for calling me the oldest man in the room. OK. We'll leave it there. <laughs> You've been sparring a lot with Conlon during training camp? Yeah, we spar for, we've been sparring the last two years. You know, He brings in his sparring partners, but I come in and help him out whenever he needs the help, and it's the best I've ever seen him. What his trainer said, Adam, he's definitely reached his peak, and I don't see anything else but a, a Conlon win. This is the Lions, then. Does Lopez love that? Yeah, actually, Lopez is a great, great fighter. He's a strong, and, and he doesn't mind to go to the to your opponent's back there to you know, drop some bombs. So I'm really, really confident that my fighter is going to be taking the W, and he's going to be taking the W really, really soon. Do you think it might be a classic in many ways if it goes 12 rounds? Yeah, I think it's a good, it's a, it's a good, it's a good fight. You know, Colin has a, a lot to offer. He's a very skillful, talented guy. He's a former Olympian, but you know, I don't think it's going to be lasting the 12 rounds. There's something simmering. There is a little bit of tension between them. I think Mick Conlon, he knows this is everything. This is everything he's dreamed of since he was a, a small child. And it's all coming to a bit of a head. He's got to try and keep a cool head in a hot, hot kitchen. Luis Alberto Lopez, he, he is no stranger to, uh, to being in a hostile environment. I think he's... I think he's just cool. I think he's just used to this kind of thing. So, very exciting, but there is a bit of tension. You can sense it there. You're relentlessly nervous, but also very, very excited of the prospect of putting on something magical and special and giving, giving a hope and an outlook for the future of, of Belfast boxing, Irish boxing in total. Do you think Michael learnt something from the Lee Wood fight that he can take into this contest with him on Saturday night? Uh, most definitely. Um, if he didn't, he, he, he would be an idiot, so he, he has, and I think we've seen it in the gym progressing throughout the year, and Harry's rebuilt and coming straight back in against Miguel Moriaga, and the, the heart and desire that he needed from that, and, and, the, and just has been special since it. It's been a, it's been a big change both as a, as a man, as a father, and as a fighter. It's going to be a fast fight. Obviously, he's an Olympian. He's got great skills. He, he knows all the points of boxing. It's going to be a fantastic fight. Come on, juego de ajedrez, no? Así es como juega. Like a game of chess. <laughs> Así es, es un, va a ser un juego de ajedrez. Vamos a tener que poner bien los, los, las, las posiciones bien correctas. No equivocarnos ninguno de los dos porque pues eh, sabemos que la pelea se puede acabar rápido. Absolutely, we have to be in the right positions and we have to not make mistakes because the one that makes mistakes is going to have problems. What did you get when you were a couple of inches away from each other just now? at the face-offs. What, what energy did you get from him? What energy did you put out, Michael? Ah, he's confident and confident. I think we both showed that. Um, there is no beef. There is no bad blood. And uh, 
no, I, I've done it that way. You no, know, that's why I've approached this. I, I have no anything against Lewis. You know, he's he's the champion. I've, I respect him. I'll show that. But come fight night, the respect is out the window, and, and I'm going in there to win. You're always cool, calm, and collected. But is there a ticking time bomb going on inside you right now? An energy ready to explode? You're going to thrill us on Saturday night. Yeah, the, the thrill will be in the ring. It'll not be in the build-up, and it'll not be in the on the ring walk. And other people will love the ring walk, yes, but the walkouts and stuff. You know, I got to be cool and, and calm going in there. See you at the weigh-ins tomorrow. Thanks very much. Cheers, Michael. So the press conference is done. Words have been spoken. They faced off. The Battle of Belfast is now set up. Now they need to drain a bit of weight, come back tomorrow, weigh in, face each other. We cannot wait for what's going to be a spectacular fight on Saturday night. Stay tuned for more tomorrow.